Welcome to your lesson on how to close a jump ring. If you take anything from this training, definitely absorb this lesson. I would say 95% of the time people come to me with issues welding jump rings, it's because they weren't closed. So again, this is so important. First, we're going to start with what not to do. Do not grab both ends of your jump ring and pull them apart like you're trying to play tug of war. I'm not even going to have Dustin do it under the microscope here because I don't want to ruin this jump ring. It makes it go out of round. It's so hard to put it back together. Just don't do it. Instead, you'll grab both ends and don't mangle these ends, by the way, either. You don't need to be pressing so hard. You're leaving marks on your jump rings. You're going to twist it apart. You're going to twist it apart enough where you can fit your chain through. I'm going to pause here for a second. Just put a pro tip out there. I do not do this with my grounded pliers. I work with three sets of pliers, my grounded pliers and my two working pliers. Your grounded pliers are your best friend. Don't work with them to do anything other than weld. Okay, back to the topic at hand. We have now pulled our jump ring apart. Plenty of space for our chain. Pretend you have a chain hooked here. Now you're going to push the ends past each other. So you're putting a little pressure and then you're going to twist it back closed and you can hear and feel you'll see okay we've pushed the ends past each other you might have to do a little bit of wiggling here but let's turn it to its side so you can see now the next step here is you're actually going to take that jump ring. Do not squeeze crazy hard here. This is just slight pressure. And you're gonna put slight pressure perpendicularly, right? So you're going to grab where you just put the ends together and the bottom, and you're just going to put a little bit of pressure so you keep it in a perfect circle. If it's a perfect circle again, then your ends have likely met. If you can do, if you could put anything in here, if you could run dental floss through the middle of this, it is not closed enough to do a really solid clean weld. So with that, we're just going to do it one more time, a little bit quicker this time. You're going to open the jump ring. Ends, right? You're going to open it, put the chain in, then you're going to push the ends past each other a bit. Then you're going to pull in and you probably can't hear it on your end, but I heard the click because it's metal to metal, slightly rubbing past each other. You're going to move it until it looks nice and close. Then we're just going to turn it for you here. We're going to put that slight pressure on it so that we make sure we have a perfectly round jump ring and no gap. Okay, and with that, you have a perfectly closed jump ring. If your jump ring looks anything, like anything different than this, there's any gap, any space, you hold it up to the light and you see light shining through, it's not closed, try again, because I want you to be so successful at welding and it will be so frustrating if you do not have your jump ring closed for you because you're gonna think you're bad at welding. You're not, your jump ring's just not closed.